What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're jumping back into the crown and I am gonna show you guys how to set up and set the, the heights for your ASC 680 air controller if you are running one. Now, I jumped through the internet, I found some instruction manuals in Japanese, translated them, read through them all, figured them all out. So I've never actually set up the initial setting on my car because it already was, but I've got all the instructions. So I'll walk you through it on the whiteboard, then we'll jump in and I'll show you how to set your heights. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so to give you a quick rundown of the actual controller, you've got your scrolling buttons here, which are up and down, and then you've got your mode switch, which will change modes, and the select switch, which is like your enter button. So to actually set it up initially, you're gonna have the car off, hold down your mode switch button, and then turn the car on. It'll put you into the section where you can select the model of your car, which will be one of these. I'll do a zoomed in version of this so you can see it a lot easier. So you'll just scroll through until you find your model and select that. Then it will take you to the next screen, which will either be mode or extra down mode. I know all of you are going to pick extra down mode, so just go to that and then hit select. Once you've done that, that's the initial setup done, and it should take you over to your memory settings. Now you've got five memory settings that you can set any height you want. So with all the heights you've got, you actually have this variant of heights. Now your normal high that the car has is your B, so it goes from F the highest down to L, which is your at like hyper low mode. So B is your high mode, zero is normal mode, and then their normal low, so if you weren't in the extra down mode, would be five. But if you're in the extra down mode, you can go down to nine, and then if you hold the down button, this one here, then you can go into L, which is hyper low mode. So let's jump into the car, and I'll show you exactly what I mean with that. Okay, so once you've selected all those modes, you should be here. So you've got memory one setting, and then I've got memory two, three, four, and five is my hyper low. And then you've also got your normal setting. Sorry about the focus, it doesn't have to focus perfectly. So your normal setting is what your 186, 187 you'll drive on. It always says drive on normal, normal mode because it does this thing over 100 Ks where it slightly drops the car. Uh, 20 to 30 mil so on so look I wouldn't suggest riding it on anything but normal mode but if you want to roll around slammed on the ground that's up to you so when you're in one of your memory settings just go over to here and hit your mode buttons to see what the valves are doing so you got one valve in the back and you've got a valve front left front right mode again gives you the height shows you exactly what height it is when these bars are all the way to the edge, that's the lowest. When they're all the way in like that, that's the highest. Mode again will show you actually what speed you're doing when it's all hooked up. And then back to the memory setting. Now, if you want to change this, you go down to select because you're selecting this memory setting. And then it shows you all of your um, options, front, left, front, right, and the rears. Select again, gives you front, left. Now from there, you can change that height down, 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 and so on. I'm not going to because I don't want to change it. Then you go select again, put you over to the other side, same thing. Okay, and then you select again. And this does your rears, but it does, if, you, if you've got the front two the same and the back the same, it brings it all down together. So for example, Sorry, that one and then that. So, if you've got the front slightly different, say you've got the fronts on E, right? Then you come down, it brings all of it down one step, two steps, three steps, so on. So, you, to set the difference between the front and the back, you set the fronts different from the back, however much you want them different, you know what I mean? So, if you want the backs three steps lower than the front, you set the fronts three steps higher. Yeah, and if you want them all the same, then you just set them all the same. So what I'll do is go back into here, 
Set that to C, because then it's the same as the back. Set this to C, because that's the same as the back. And then set all of them to F, which is the highest, which I like. I like this setting too. Select that and you're done. Memory set by hitting the mode setting. So they're all the same, right? Now, when you go down to your hyper low, select it. What it'll actually do, um, is it'll want you to be on nine, right? And then it's gonna take both the fronts to nine. What you need to do is to get that down, you go down and hold it, and then it goes to L, okay? So you have to press it and hold it for I think it's three seconds, maybe four seconds, and then it selects L. Do that for the front. Make sure the front two and the back two are all matching. So example, you bring them all to nine and then bring all of them down to L, okay? And that's how you get it into the hyper low mode, which like I said earlier, you'll see on my Instagram. So then you go memory select and that's all. You, that's your height setting. So send them all as you want. I've actually got five as hyper low for like photo shoots. This one front sits a little bit lower than the back because my, I've only got a 30 mil low down kit in the front and a 15 in the back. So it evens up the, the level for just like parking or whatever. Then I've got this, which is essentially normal height setting. So it forces you to a normal height instead of just putting it in normal and the controller being a little bit lazy. Then I've got E, which is the second highest height. I need that to get into my driveway. And then F I have as the highest height you can get because, you know, just in case you're coming to anything that's annoying. Now, be aware, if you have the factory everything, you know, the factory bags, factory lines, factory compressor mainly, you won't be able to go from hyper low to full height. I think it takes two, sometimes three cycles to do it because the compressor either has one of the one of these two. It either has a thermal overload, so it cuts out after running for a certain amount of time and getting too hot, or it has a cycle timer. Now, I think it's actually a cycle timer, so it'll only run for a certain amount of time, then it will cut off, then you have to wait, it resets, and then it will run again. So if you go into hyper low mode, expect to sit in that car park for a little while. So you probably don't want to be going and parking it like that all the time. I did it once at the gym and I was there for 15, 20 minutes waiting for it to come all the way up. So that's just a warning guys. So you guys, I hope that helped out some of you. I know a lot of you have been asking me for a setup guide to these specifically. Um, it's a really easy controller to use. I actually haven't wired one up, so I can't give you that advice on how to wire it up. Mine was already wired up for me. So I was very lucky in that situation, but yeah, actually programming it and setting all your memory settings, it's up to you however you want to set them. When I got the car, I had to change every single memory setting. And then I went and got a wheel alignment at my normal mode, um, which is, as I showed you, that top mode of just, you know, normal. So when it's in normal mode, it's like the controller isn't actually working at all. It's just at the car's kind of factory normal height. I leave my um, 186 on that because of the warning setting saying leave it on that, so I leave it there. So like I said, hope that helps some of you and please like, please subscribe, please share it with your friends and hopefully we can get this channel going somewhere. But apart from that, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Um.